Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is a Monday morning, so we're starting out a new week in my life fresh right away. I just finished my live behavioral science class that we have for an hour every Monday and I'm in the car obviously. I'm headed to Trader Joe's really quick. I do have HelloFresh coming either today or tomorrow but I wanted to pick up some produce just for snacks, breakfast, lunch, that kind of thing and a few more of those freezer staples that I said usually last me around two weeks because it's been about two and a half weeks since I did that video and mentioned that. So headed there and then I'm gonna come back and I don't really have anything super scheduled for school until noon. I have my usual weekly sim lab. This week it's gonna be a little bit different, but basically because we're doing our remediations from last semester since usually they would be at the very end of the semester, but a little bit before Thanksgiving, our sim lab was shut down just to eliminate any COVID spread because there were a few cases in the dental school. So we didn't get a chance to remediate then, so they're making up for them now. And if you don't have to remediate, then you're not coming to lab. So I'm lab Monday, Wednesday afternoons for actual sim lab. And since I'm not remediating this practical, I did remediate the one last week if you watched that vlog. But since I'm not remediating the class three, I don't have to go into lab on Wednesday. My only other in-person activity this week is for Perio Lab. So the first session of Perio Lab we did in Sim Lab, where we were working on typodons, different than the ones that we drill on when we're doing clinical foundation Sim Lab. These are different typodons that are a little bit easier to scale, which are the instruments that you use in the patient's mouths and the gum line. And we did that only one time, and this week we're working on real people real people being our classmates. So we're paired up with a classmate. Mine is tomorrow night, 4 to 7.30 p.m. And basically the first half, I work on my classmate, and the second half, they work on me kind of thing. And it's a little intimidating because obviously you don't want to like hurt them or like make them uncomfortable or anything, but since we're all in the same boat, hopefully it'll be fine. We all barely have any practice, only like three hours of practice actually holding the instruments, so we'll see how that goes. But it's my last in-person thing this week. Last week I had a lot. I had radiology lab, I had ACE um, Clinical Foundations. ACE is ACE, Advanced Clinical Education Clinic. I took a couple clips in there so I can put them in here, but basically we learned how to assist how to be the provider and how to be the patient. I guess you don't really have to learn how to be the patient, but we went through those three rotations with a group of three and you did all of them. And you learned how to pass instruments as an assistant, you learned how to place cotton rolls, you learned how to do a very, very basic exam. We did placement of a dry angle, placement of a sphidopter, suctioning with the high speed and the low speed suction. So that's kind of what we did there, which was good. Just like very intro stuff before we go and assist in the real clinic with patients and older dental students. So this was like a practice to feel more comfortable when we get in there and start assisting for real. That for me isn't for a couple more weeks. But I did have a very busy in-person week last time because I had the two days of sim lab. I had the radiology lab and I had the ACE lab. Um, radiology was canceled also if you did watch the shorter day in my life on Thursday. But I was supposed to be in person four times last week, which is why this week I'm only in person two times. And because of that, <laughs> long, long intro clip, because of that I'm going home, like back to my parents' house in a couple days just to have like a week of a different setting and to chill and relax and everything. More about that as those days come and we'll get into a little montage of my Monday and I'll show you guys my studying, some Trader Joe's, some Sim Lab, it'll be great. Sometimes I get a little grainy shade of jealousy In truth it's how I know that you're the one for me And when you're seeing red come over we can talk it through I'll throw a warmer shade on your colder moods yeah. Drip drip in the canvas frame Take a second to appreciate The beautiful mess we make I don't wanna paint by numbers that just ain't the way I wanna love ya Baby, let the colors bleed We don't need to keep it clean Let's mix it up together for each other Love and watercolor Watercolor 
feels like sometimes I get so blue there's no one getting through but you come sliding down in honeysuckle cream and nude drip drip from the canvas frame take a second to appreciate the beautiful mess we make I don't wanna paint by numbers that just ain't the way I wanna love you Canvas frame, take a second to appreciate the beautiful mess we make. I don't wanna paint by numbers, that just ain't the way I wanna love ya. Baby, let the colors bleed, we don't need to keep it clean. Let's mix it up together for each other. All right, it's around 6.30 right now. I got back from lab at about 3.45, 4-ish because I went to do my COVID test right after lab because it's like kind of in the same complex, you could say. Like it's not in the dental building, but there's like five or six like health science-y type buildings all kind of right connected near each other, not actually connected. You just have to go outside, basically. And I showed you all a little bit of it. It's a really pretty building and nice views of like North Quad area of Michigan's campus. That had a really long line because like all the dental students essentially went right from lab to get tested. So it took a while because <laughs> lab's 12 to 3. I didn't really leave the testing till like 3.30ish. And then I got back here around 3.45. Then I pretty much sat here until like 5ish. So about like an hour and 15 minutes. I usually do for sure at least like 30 minutes after lab of just like decompressing and like eating some food and hydrating and stuff. And I did just edit a vlog just because I wanted to get it done before I went home because the Wi-Fi at my parents house is not very good it takes like so long to upload a video so I'm gonna upload it now here where we have our good Wi-Fi oh another COVID thing I did get my second dose of the Pfizer vaccine in this left arm a little over two days ago I got it Saturday morning and it's one and it's Monday night I personally didn't have any symptoms the second dose other than my arm being sore but it was less sore this time than it was after my first dose and I didn't have any symptoms after the first dose either though so now like pain, nausea, fatigue, muscle aches, fever, none of that, which is really great. I feel very lucky. It seems as though maybe half to a third of our class were totally fine and the other percentage did have some symptoms, but I feel like people don't talk enough about the fact that they, when they don't have any symptoms, and I think it makes everyone expect that the second dose they're for sure going to feel sick. I know even like Two videos ago, I was saying I was preparing for the genetics exam to not be able to study this weekend because I thought I would feel sick, which is always great to prepare and like maybe take the day off work just in case, but don't like get anxious about it because there's a good chance you'll be okay as well. I mean, just generally speaking, I obviously don't know the statistic off the top of my head, but basically hopefully that can calm your nerves a little bit. I feel good and I feel very, very fortunate to have the vaccine and to be a little bit more protected and protecting those that I love. I do still have to obviously take precautions and everything because it doesn't make like me unable to carry the virus, if that makes sense. And like I said, it's almost 7, 6.30, sorry. So I'm going to study a little bit more for genetics and then make a HelloFresh dinner. I did get my box for the week. I'll show you guys those three recipes. They look delish, I'm so excited and I also went to Trader Joe's, like I said, so I feel like I'm going to have a really good food this week. I'm going to make some, like, shrimp penne arrabbiata, which will be really yummy. I got two different sauces from Trader Joe's. They're arrabbiata, and then there's spicy tomato, which arrabbiata is already, like, a spicy sauce. So I'm interested to see, like, how those are different and, like, which I like better. I'll definitely let you guys know, but both will probably be really good. And then, obviously, the HelloFresh meals, and I just got some bananas and some other little things. Um, wine. Trader Joe's has great cheap wine. They have delicious wine for, like, $3 a bottle. You cannot beat it. So, I got some of that as well. The genetics exam is at noon tomorrow, and we do have some classes in the morning that we are scheduled for, but nothing that you have to do at that specific time. So, I'm planning on waking up and studying until then. I've really been looking at these materials for over a week now. So I feel like I've kind of reached the point I probably know what I know, which is why I haven't been like cram studying tonight. 
I do plan to watch The Bachelor tonight after I make salmon, like I said, and then mostly study tomorrow as well as a little bit now while I'm cooking. Basically, I just tried my best to really know the summary sheets that one of my classmates shared and the study guide and the textbook info, and I'm hoping that will be sufficient. We'll see. Pretty much everything. I'll show you all the rest of my night, a few clips, and then we'll transition into Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. So right now I'm just working on some assignment that we have every week for behavioral science. It's basically like a little quiz, homework assignment. It's graded though for correctness. So that's why I'm looking in the lecture to check over my answers here. And it's about 10 right now. After this, I'm just going to look over a Quizlet for genetics a little bit more until the exam at noon. And then between noon and four, I'd like to get a few other assignments done. We have two clinical foundation lectures to watch and assignments for both of those. I have a diagnostic sciences lecture to watch that has a quiz every week. And then I also have oral health promotion lecture to watch and an assignment type quiz thing for that as well. And I'm behind in our nervous system class. I haven't done any of the lectures yet for this unit. There are four that exist, but two I believe aren't, the two most recent aren't actually posted yet because the professor's wife just had a baby. So there's a little bit of a delay. So I think that there's only two I can watch. I probably won't get all of this done today, but I definitely will watch all those lectures and do the assignments because some of them are due day of, which is like a quick turnaround so you have to like make sure you actually do it the day that the lecture gets posted and everything but I'm just gonna sit and work on that for a little bit and I'll probably talk to you guys after the genetics exam is done. This is me procrastinating studying, but I'm just updating my resume. I just covered up my email and phone number, but pretty much everything down here needs adjusting anyways. But I added some stuff from dental school with the organizations I'm involved in and leadership that I have. And then I received a scholarship over winter break, so I just added that down here as well. All right, I got some of those assignments done. I cleaned up my room a little bit packed some stuff because like I said I'm going home tonight after perio lab um, to stay for the week just because we have a lighter week and I don't have to be in person so just kind of like a nice reset little break I still have to do schoolwork but it's all virtual I was at my desk here and I got a lot of my little class things done like I said I finished the assignment for behavioral science diagnostic sciences and oral health promotion I still have to do the lectures and um, participation quizzes for clinical foundations though but it's around 2:40. I'm gonna leave in about 40 ish minutes probably to walk to the dental school for perio lab it's structured as an hour and a half in three 30 minute increments where my partner will be working on me and each 30 minutes is a different scalar that we're using and those are divided up into like five ish ten minutes you watch a video, you practice with instruction, then at the end you need to demonstrate to one of the faculty that you know how to do it. So she'll be doing that on me, her demonstration and her practice. And then that three times with the different scalers. And then we have to wait 30 minutes for like sanitation with COVID and we'll flip. And then I'll work on her those same three things. So we'll be there from four to 7.30 tonight. Then I will walk back and probably heat up some food. I have Bible study small group tonight with my little group of the four of us that we do on Zoom. And then I'm going to drive home probably while I'm on the call. Just like listening in and chiming in and stuff. But quickly now in these next like 30 minutes I'm going to go make a little bit more food. I had my leftover HelloFresh earlier after the exam. But I'm basically going to be in lab like during dinner time. So I wanted to eat a little bit more and then have the rest to heat up when I get back. So just kind of making it in advance. We don't have the scores back yet for our exams, but I think the genetics went okay. Like I felt good about 
a good amount of the questions, but I literally never know these days. Like, I thought I did good on Nervous System, and I barely passed, so we'll see um, later this week or in another video. I'll definitely let you all know how genetics scores turned up, but do some food, and I'll check in with you guys a little bit. I'm back at my parents' house and it is Wednesday around 10 a.m. I let myself sleep in. I got up around 8.45, I think, just like naturally rolling out of bed. Took a shower, I have some laundry going and I'm gonna sit down and do a little bit of work and then take a break for lunch and then in the afternoon, I'll do some more stuff. I don't have a ton that I need to do this week. Like I said, this week is a little bit lighter um, just in the sense that I'm not studying studying for an exam yet our next exam is a week from friday in the nervous system so i'm going through and watching all those lectures that's a big thing i need to do because i'm behind on those and then i also have clinical foundations to do if you remember from yesterday i didn't finish that assignment and lectures and i also have a zoom tonight for my podcast with a d3 at stony brook so i'm doing that around 7 p.m at 5 30 p.m i have a zoom that's a combination club event with aawd and ao which i'm actually in both of them anyways but it's a treatment planning workshop kind of like a step-by-step -step what to do when when you're in clinic so it's a little bit early for me as a first year because i won't be treatment planning until my third year but it's good to learn and it might make me more familiar with the way clinic runs at the dental school because i will be assisting in a few weeks in the clinic as a first year and then our pharmacology class because we didn't have a spring break this semester a lot of our syllabi were a little bit off so our pharmacology professor didn't actually have a scheduled for this week so I'm hoping that I will do next week's assignment because she did post it um, now that way I don't have to do work next week when I am studying for nervous system so that's a goal today along with the nervous system lectures and then I actually want to read a bit of that book setting the table that's for the SPDL which is basically a leadership book club at the dental school that is due in a couple weeks, chapters one through four, so I need to get cracking on that and read a little bit more. There's actually also a Zoom at 6 p.m., so I have a 5.30 and a 7, so I assume I'm not gonna be able to make the 6 p.m. Zoom for Academy of Dental Dentistry, but maybe I will. We'll see how everything plays out. I also need to eat dinner, so I'm not really planning on going to that one, but who knows? Also, quickly before we get into school stuff, I did need to mention that I went to Perio Lab last night. You just saw a few little clips, and then also we got our grades back for the exam that I took yesterday in developmental genetics. So first, I guess with the exam, I got an 80%, so that's better than I did on the nervous system exam. Not amazing, I don't know what the average is, but I'm fine with that because it was really challenging. So I'm actually like, I, was, I looked at that score and I was like, oh, phew, good, like I felt good about it. I know it's not super high, but anyways, I felt good about it. And then Perio Lab, I wanted to film myself doing some of the cleaning, but I felt kind of weird asking my peer, like my classmate, if I could record it, so I didn't. But I did show you guys a little bit of Ace Lab, and I think we go back and do that again, so I will try to be a little more confident and ask to record some of the cleaning. And we had one faculty for each pair, so really good like faculty to student ratio. So you had an hygienist there instructing you the whole time, teaching you how to do everything and giving you their personal tips. Like, oh, when this doesn't work, I like to fulcrum up here instead. So it was really nice to have all that instruction because with COVID, we just don't have much time in this lab to be working on perio. So it's pretty unfortunate. And I feel like I don't know much at all. Like I don't know the basics. So working on someone yesterday was kind of almost impossible. Like I didn't really do too, too much in her mouth because a lot of it was the hygienist showing me like how he would hold it, making sure I know which working end I'm using, like tips to make my fulcrum finger stronger. If you guys are struggling with that, he said he likes to do kind of like a spinning like top. So he will like make some kind of flat surface and then move your wrist around on your fulcrum, which is your ring finger. And he said to do this little spinning top and that can help work on your strengthening of your 
muscles and everything that you need because I was like I just feel like my fulcrum is just this like wobbly little mess like it's not providing any strength or sturdiness or torque because fulcrum is basically like something that you're putting your pressure on so you would rest this finger on a tooth and then you want it to be when you're doing the modified pen grasp you want it to be still connected to your middle finger and your pointer finger and then the instrument is resting on the fat pad of your middle finger between your middle finger and your thumb basically i just needed him to like explain the basics of the fulcrum and like check my modified pen grasp and like show me how i should be holding it or like it feels when i'm moving my wrist this way and doing the rocking it doesn't feel right so we like really went back to basics for me but my partner did a really great job and i felt like she knew a lot more than i did so maybe there's more studying I could do outside of lab and prep work. We just don't have these instrument cassettes. We don't have the hygiene instruments. So I can't like be at home practicing it because we don't have them. But I think we can check them out. So I have to look into that if I can check out a cassette from the school and practice because I need it. So we're going to get started on the day. Like I said, it's 10 a.m. right now. We'll see how much we can get done. I'll probably start with the clinical foundations because it's the easiest and then look at the pharmacology and then do nervous system I think is the flow of activities for today and I'll show you all a little bit of that work all right so I have three little assignments I'm gonna do so first like I said I have clinical foundations which is our 520 and for the week four lectures we're talking about class twos I believe which are like an MOD um, restoration so it's we have to just answer these reflection questions. Sometimes we have a little quiz. This time it's going to be a reflection submission. And then I also have to do an extra credit survey for behavioral science. And then finally, for perio that I went to last night, like I said, I have to do a reflection assignment talking about each different scalar, what I did well, what I didn't do well, what I remember the hygienist instructor telling me and then the instructor will come and read my reflections and give more feedback which is helpful to kind of look at later on and see what I needed to be studying or maybe what I can practice what I can focus on next time and I really love just putting all of the assignments up on the little tabs that way it's like just reminding me what I need to do and then like when I finish one I can like close it out you know little things the little things get you motivated So since I didn't do great on the last nervous system exam, I'm taking a totally different approach for studying for this one to see if it works better. Like I said in my How I Study video, my strategies are different class to class, and I did really well in immunology last semester when I made Quizlet as I was watching the lecture. He already put the learning objectives in here and any other like thought questions he had throughout the lecture and then as I'm watching I'll just try to answer them and then that can give me a study resource right there and it's focusing my learning a little bit better. The only reason I put them into Quizlet right away rather than just typing them on a Word doc or something is just because it's less work. Later, I'm not copy and pasting from Word into Quizlet to study, so it's already ready for me to study this way. We'll see how that goes. I'll probably add, there's right now like 21 things. I'll probably be adding a few more other things that I think are important as I'm watching. And this is just for lecture 11. I still have to add on the learning objectives from the next lecture, which would be lecture 12. So it looks like the first one was 30 minutes. This one is um, 30 minutes and 40 minutes. So almost like two and a half-ish hours, I guess, of work to do, which isn't too bad. So let's get that done. Cause Pluto, you already knew though, 
Okay, so I just finished two of the three videos. So I'm going to watch the other one tomorrow. I just haven't been the most motivated. But I think that this uh, learning objectives right onto the Quizlet thing is a good technique for me do, to do. And I'm about to go to a Zoom here for the 530 like, treatment planning thing. That's the cross between AAWD and AO. And I'm a few minutes late, so I need to find the link for that. Okay, so you also saw a little bit of Thursday, but today is Friday, and I'm just gonna give myself kind of a chill day. So, not too much school, I'll probably watch a few lectures for genetics, and edit, and just relax, and kind of give myself a little bit of a lighter weekend, and pick up with school on Sunday afternoon, and watch a little bit of Super Bowl as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.